find your seat, Mr. Speaker, at the bathroom and see himself, if he's still that sonu crusader for liberty, Mr. Speaker, that he spoke about. Number two, Mr. Speaker, we are honorable senators in this house. We don't lie. We can move a motion on basis of lies. We cannot mislead this house. These facts were brought before the speaker. These facts are known. They are incontrovertible. Mr. Speaker, let us not belittle this debate. Let us contextualize de this debate for what it is. It is about an assault on the speaker, parliamentary uh, democracy, Mr. Speaker, and Mr. Speaker about the freedoms of this house. Let me concentrate on Mr. Speaker concluding by saying this. This Senate this morning is not being asked to adjourn so that you can assist this, this side or the other on the question on the basis of allocation of revenue. In fact, Mr. Speaker, I have refused, as a matter of fact, to go or prosecute my position on the question of voting for resources because my position is not superior to those who are on the other side. It's a question of when you vote, the other side, which has the numbers, can pass. But, Mr. Speaker, to arrest three senators, to make it impossible for them to come and make their decision, to subvert the, Mr. Speaker, sovereign right of the people of Kenya under Article 1 of the Constitution, that was donated to Senator Malala, Senator Langat, Senator Lelekwe, to come and exercise on the floor of this House. And for any colleague in this House to support that process, Mr. Speaker, it will be a pity. It will be, Mr. Speaker, the worst day in the Republic of Kenya. I call upon my colleagues, Mr. Speaker, to look at themselves and look at the situation we are going through this morning. Senator Orengo told me on the floor of this house, with Senator Sang and Senator uh, Aaron Chiriot, we were sitting here, said, Mr. Speaker, that revolution hits its own children. That, Mr. Speaker, this house, that, Mr. Speaker, this government was going to be worse to us than, Mr. Speaker, them that were in the opposition then. Mr. Speaker, Senator Rengo now sits in a more privileged position than me. He has, Mr. Speaker, the ear of the president on the government. Mr. Speaker, I want to look at Senator Orengo on the face. Mr. Speaker, it has devoured me, Mr. Orengo. Now it will come for you. It Okay. To apply, uh, it's the time for Senator Orengo. To Mr. Speaker, time. remember, I'm concluding, Mr. Speaker, to remember his words to me that yes, that revolution devoured me. Yes, it drew me to the backbench. Yes, Mr. Speaker, our rights have been violated. Okay, okay. It is your turn, Senator okay, Orengo, okay. sitting in position of power okay. to say no okay. to the subversion of those rights, okay. Mr. Speaker. Okay. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator.